Hello, this is Dr. Salvatore Mitsigara, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with my music students how to use Canvas, an online learning platform, and their gradebook so that they can understand how they're going to be navigating through this year in online music learning and in-person classes at Doctor's Charter School. Please enjoy this video. So when you first go into Canvas and you click on my course, you're going to see this first page and it's different for the different courses that I teach at Doctor's Charter School. And I'm going to be going over the entire page and then how to navigate through this entire setup that we have here with our online classes. As you see, there's a link for the syllabus, there's a link to the first module at the top, the weekly focus, which are the student learning objectives. Then we have the in-class agenda, what students need to be prepared for for the week. And then we have what is due next week, and it will vary, especially these first couple of weeks as we're getting settled into online learning. Now, look at how I have an assignment or a discussion, and I also will have those links into the module when I open up those different parts of the course. There's a link for the homework, there's a link also for maybe what we did last week and going back into those lessons. Now I'd like you to take a look at the left-hand side of the screen. Some of what you're looking at is a preview and not the final product of what you may have in your module, but on the left-hand side you're going to see Home, Zoom, Grades, and maybe modules. Zoom is the application that we're going to be using to have our online classes and make sure that you're following the block schedule that we have posted on the school website so that you can make sure that you're attending those classes as I will be grading class participation and making sure that you're showing up by taking attendance. When you first enter the Zoom class, make sure that you have your student ID ready to put in the chat box, and that way I can identify and make sure that you're the right student for the course that I'm teaching. Also, make sure that your microphone is turned off, so that way you can listen to all of the instructions as you're entering the course. This is basically how you would get into the module at the beginning of the week. There's going to be a link somewhere in the page. You look for it, you click on it, and then you're going to be entering the first module or whatever is available to you. And this is just a preview of how to get into that first page and then you're going to see something like this. And then at the bottom, if you wanna to move to whatever else is available, you would then click next and go into the different pages that are available for us to learn from. There's an opening discussion. You'll also see the course description and syllabus and other pages of what we will be working on throughout that week. And sometimes this will be available to you or you're gonna to have to wait until you attend the live classroom in order to get access to the different areas of the modules. This is an example of what an assignment would look like. They're all going to be a little bit different in the way that we do these because of the nature of the course, but usually I'm going to be putting everything in a Google document and that way you can write on it and so forth. But sometimes you're gonna to need to be able to take a picture of different assignments, especially when we get to music theory, so that way it can be uploaded and I can view what you're doing if it's handwritten. This is a preview of what the first quiz would look like that's graded, and then there's also going to be one that's not graded, and that's basically some sort of pretest to see what you know already, and then I'll be testing you later to see, well, what have you learned? Let's talk about the student grade area, and basically this is a place where you may see some grades. I've turned them off right now because when I grade them, the real place that you really should be looking for your grades is the Pinnacle Gradebook on the Dade County Public School website. And that is the primary place where your grades are going to be the most accurate for you to look at. Otherwise, if you see grades in this section here in Canvas, they may be accurate, especially um, for that particular assignment, but then when they're calculated overall, they may not be calculated correctly. So make sure that you go to that website. When you log into the Dade County Public School website, this is what it should look like. This is the teacher version of the first page, and they have updated the site, so even teachers are learning how to use the website 
for the first time, even though it should be very similar to what we've had in the past. This is what the grade book would look like inside, and these are the different assignments that you would see with the grades under it. And then, of course, you can see how they're graded by category. Notice that I do give students a lot of opportunities for participation. They will have a participation grade each week, and then there will be some other assignments. So students will receive at least two opportunities to receive a grade each week, whether it's an assignment, a discussion, or some other type of assignment. This is Dr. Salvatore Vinciguera. Thank you for watching this video of my mini tutorial on Canvas and some of the other applications that I'll be incorporating into my music classes this school year at Doctor's Charter School. If you are a student or parent and you have any questions or concerns about some of the coursework or how we're going to be incorporating some of these applications into our class, then please make sure that you email me. My email address can be found either on the school website or in the syllabus in Canvas. Again, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to this channel, and have a great day. Thank you.